Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, joint and link graphs, okay? Now, joint and link graphs can be very helpful, um, especially when you're trying to analyze the uh, position, velocity, and acceleration of certain joints and links, okay? So we'll start by making a four-bar mechanism, okay? So I'm going to draw a link um, over here, over here, and over here, just like that. And I'm going to make these two uh, ground links, just like that. And I'm going to add a uh, rotary actuator, just like that. Perfect. So now we have a four bar mechanism. Okay. So in order to act, in order to um, get access to the uh, link and joint graphs, uh, we're going to click on the panels over here. We're, we're going to click panels. And first, uh, let's go to um, joint graph, okay? So I'm going to click the joint graph. I'm going to move the graph over here. Um, uh, actually, no, I'm going to multi-select this um, and move it over here. There we go. So you, you guys can see better. OK, so I'm going to click on a link. Uh, sorry, I'm going to click on a joint. And when I hit play, you notice that um, it gives you a velocity versus time graph, an acceleration versus time graph, and a displacement versus time graph of the um, of whatever joint you choose, OK? So I'm going to stop it, and let's choose another joint. So let's choose uh, this top right one over here. And you notice that the graph changed because I clicked on a different joint. OK. So now uh, let's stop this, and let's look at a link graph. OK, so I'm going to go to a link graph, select a link. And again, it'll tell me um, all the uh, information about its uh, angular acceleration, angular velocity, and um, angular displacement theta. Okay. And I notice when I click on these three dots over here, it actually gives me um, all of its data as a function of time. And I can actually either download it or export it as an XLSX file, which you can open in Excel, which can be very helpful for certain types of projects. And of course, you can do this uh, with um, with uh, joint graphs too. Okay, um, so that'll be it for this video. Um, in the next video, we'll be talking more about uh, controlled actuation and controlling the speed of linear and um, and rotary actuators.